All right, as part of our feature series, I'm gonna go over Raster Wizard. Uh, I'm gonna load a picture of me as a toddler. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change this to about 8.5. Uh, my piece of wood is about 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So that should be about fine. Now for Raster Wizard, uh, you can it's located here. For Raster Wizard, you can also uh, load up the particular scripts in this or simply apply the script directly. So in Raster Wizard, if we say load up gravy, uh, this is the sequence of these uh, image operations that are applied in order. So if you want to see it with uh, extra edge enhance, you can click and unclick, uh, check the auto contrast, the on sharp mask, this is currently 500%. So if we up it to say a thousand, it'll show what it is at a thousand. At zero, it's much more foggy. So this was uh, located at 500%. And if we change the threshold, uh, it will alter the threshold directly on the picture. So this applies directly to the image. So if we change the tone curve, it'll apply directly to the image. This is true for all of the scripts. Uh, if we click up here in the preview, we can change what raster script we're going. So we can do, go and apply a gold script or we can apply uh, Newsy. Newsy is a little slow because it uh, has to apply sort of a newsprint halftone operation, which is not, uh, in base pillow. So when we zoom in, we can see that this is a uh, half toning, which is uh, not a standardized pillow operation, but is highly effective for some materials. Uh, this is sort of how the gimping script works and some other uh, raster preprocessing operations. So depending on whether your uh, material can take large, uh, can take large spots if the, if the material holds up for tiny little laser blasts, then you can get more detail out of the other scripts. But if it sort of uh, collapses a little bit, depending on how it is, uh, Newsy will often work better. Uh, I'm going to use a standard wood, so I think I'm just going to use gravy. Okay. And if we go into resample, we can see the step size is... Uh, one of these things that matters a lot. So this will basically control the detail. So if we up it say, to say step seven, we can see that it'll be a much larger image uh, versus step three, which provides us a uh, pretty significant detail. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at step three. Uh, and let's go ahead and click this button, which will process the image and export. Now, since I have a raster wizard uh, image, I can no longer do some of the operations I could before uh, because um, manipulations have been locked. So I can dither to a one bit, I could invert the image, I can flip it or rotate horizontally. But previously, the original image that I had, when you right click on it, you have a bunch of operations like scale, etc. These have been uh, removed after Raster Wizard because they would uh, destroy the image. Basically, you can't rescale it because the pix one pixel is one pixel in a raster imaged uh, object. So this is actually the size with these pixels. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, remove that. And then in uh, laser operation, we see that uh, we're doing bottom to top. Uh, 1000 PPI, plus or minus 20, uh, 150. Let's go ahead and up the speed to about 250. And that should be fairly good. Okay. Now let's uh, turn on the laser and uh, run our raster wizard image. All right, uh, first things first, I need to arrange it such that I uh, properly have the laser and the material uh, connected. 
So I'm going to go ahead and load up uh, navigation. Now, navigation gives us these several options. This simply moves the laser along. So as you can see, uh, it changes the position of the laser. Uh, now, since I have this selected, these will uh, go to the corner. So since I have the object selected, this will be go to the upper right corner, which is located here. And then when we select it here, I am now at the laser's upper right corner. And if I hit it with a short pulse, it will fire the laser at just that one spot. I believe that to be relatively okay. Let's go ahead and go to this other corner. Now the laser will move to the other corner. That appears to be fairly close. Let's go to the bottom left corner. Okay, there's not much leeway. Let's try the top again. Let's fire a laser pulse. All right, that hit our material. Let's do the other corner. Okay, we have a lot of leeway on the right. All right, cut that in half. All right, I'm gonna do a uh, simple trace. All right, that's relatively close. All right, uh, I'm just eyeballing this. So let's go ahead and just uh, apply it. Uh, preview says we'll uh, run this and it should take about four minutes in total time. So let's uh, see how close this estimate is. And this is without focusing, aligning, or uh, cleaning my laser. But basically, you just drag an item in here, set this correct size, right click, apply raster wizard script, boom. And then uh, you send it to the laser. Done. That's all it really takes other than aligning it, or aligning it to the material. All right, uh, thanks for watching.